I'm here in Dallas with Robert Burroughs, the VP of Business Development with Learn Something. Thanks Hi, Salisa. Hi, good to see you. Good to see you. So tell us a little bit about Learn Something. Who are you? What do you do? Well, Learn Something's been serving associations and online learning space for about 20 years now. Next year will be 20 years, so quite a while. And we really do three things for clients. We have a strategy capability. So our senior leadership team, as you know, has a lot of experience in this space. So whether it's putting together an approach to marketing an online program, whether it's building the right kind of relationships around content or distribution partnerships, we, we support associations in developing strategy. Then we provide the capability to execute that strategy. So that's the LMS in our case learner community. Um, and then finally, we have a content capability. So whether that's building custom content for our clients, whether that's leveraging some of our catalog if they'd like to deliver that to their members, or whether that's uh, finding other content partners to build content, we, uh, we do that as well. Great. And uh, how do you? How are you different? How's learn something distinguish itself from other players in, in this sort of space? Well, I, I think there's probably really two things that are very different about learn something. The first is that depth of experience. So my senior leadership team has been in this space for a very long time, and we really understand the association business. So I think that's a, a first important differentiator. Um, we serve associations of all sizes, but we have really long-standing relationships with some very large associations. And so we're able to understand the business case for the technology, and so we're able to put it in the right context. So I think that's the first thing. And then I think second now, we have a piece of technology in learning community, our new platform that we've built based on all those years of experience that really is a, a, a big step forward in terms of capability for associations. So both in terms of uh, the platform and how you can manage the learning portal and in how we look at courses, a word I don't use much anymore. <laughs> so we could talk about that. All right. Well, and. Uh I know that there's a, a new relationship that you have with Pearson. Tell us a Very little bit about that. Very excited about that. Very excited. So Pearson is the largest learning company in the world, as you probably know and most people know. And most people know them from their academic experience. Um, but they have really been in the professional space for a very long time. But they made a, a commitment about five years ago to truly make the transition to becoming a learning services company. And they put a lot of resources behind that and moving in that direction. So we have a long-standing relationship with them, but this was really part of a new effort for them. And so they did an industry search looking for an LMS that really met the needs of professional learners as opposed to the educational market or other market, even the corporate market, which can be very different. Um, and they settled on using Learner Community as their platform of choice in the professional space. So that's good for us. We have a big partner now that's uh, behind Learner Community. And it also gives us tremendous reach back. They have the largest library of content in the world. Their production capabilities are unbelievable. And they also do things for associations that we can't do. They have a full publishing, obviously, that's their core business, full publishing capability, fulfillment, uh, they do high stakes testing, they bring a lot of the services to the table that we can't, so we can combine some forces to do that for associations. All right. And I have just one last question for you, okay. just sure. uh, where do you see the future of learning going? I, I'm pretty excited about it right now. I think, uh, as, as you know, we've been at this a long time, you and Jeff have as well. Um, I think we're finally at a maturity point, a tipping point with the technology. And so, uh, I mentioned I don't talk about courses anymore. Right. I, I, we all struggled with the constraints that we were given 10 or 15 years ago when we went from doing this beautiful CBT training that we all did, right? Mm -hmm. and, and then suddenly they gave us this thing called the internet and we had to accommodate <laughs> that and we went three steps backwards to be able to do that and then we got wonderful things like SCORM and all these other standards, which are still valid, but unfortunately um, they've become a bit of a legacy. So the technology has evolved to the point now that we can rapidly produce very high quality learning programs, we can create and deploy learning portals that are just incredible. Um, the, the technology has matured, but now what we have to do is shake off our legacy thinking that a course is something that takes X months to produce and I don't want to update it but every year and those kinds of things. And we're going to, I think we're really now at the point where we're going to see a radical change in how we build and deploy learning products as opposed to just courses and how we manage the portals that deliver those learning products to people. So I think going forward you're going to see a lot more content that's smaller, that's more customized, that's more uh, tailored for the learner, it's easier to update, and so it's really a win-win for the associations who have a huge body of intellectual property. Uh, and, and the challenge has always been getting that squeezed into an online course. I think that's going to go away. The barriers are disappearing. And so it, it's not even about the tools anymore. They're there now. You just have to change your thinking. So I think it's going to be a pretty exciting five to ten years, and uh, we'll see where it goes. Well, great. Well, thanks for taking the time Thank you. to talk with us. Thank you, Salisa. I appreciate it.